Now if you're a creative, a microphone is a must have, whether that's a shotgun mounted mic or a built in camera mic or a lav mic or wireless mic like I'm using. And something came across my desk that we're going to look into today. And now I'm an avid user of wireless microphones. Currently I'm using the Full Aim X5. This right here is the culprit. This is the Joby Wavo Pro. I think I'm saying it right, Joby or Joby. I'm going to say it's Joby. This is the wet broke this was sent over by one of the agencies i work with which are absolutely legendary so i can't thank them enough joby or the agency have no input or say on what i say about this product or any review that i really do none of the companies really have a say in what i say about it because i think more companies now want an honest review instead of it being fabricated and scripted so that's what we're doing testing this baby out and seeing if it actually lives up to what it says. So it says here, premium sound, you've got anti-noise reduction, sound management app that you can control on your phone, and it has a second input mic, so it's not just a standard shotgun mounted mic, it also can have a lav. You can have two channels going in, which is pretty cool. So this is the box here, pretty simple, pretty explanatory. It just shows what is inside the box, really. A few of the specs on the back here, you've got audio specs. The polar pattern is a super cardioid. I believe that's just front facing. The battery life is a main factor of this because it's not just your standard shotgun mounted mic, like a road that plugs in. This one has some features with the anti-noise and it has a computer within it. So you do have to charge it. The battery life on standard mode with no anti-noise reduction is coming in at 60 hours at a full charge. That's crazy. And then with anti-noise, it's coming in with 50 hours, which is still crazy. Like 50 hours of go time. That's 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 top top tier. And for a full charge, it only takes 3.5 hours to charge. And a 30 minute charge will give you eight hours of normal use on standard mode. A 30 minute charge gives you eight hours. That's impressive. That is impressive. And obviously because you have to charge it, it does use USB-C. It is Bluetooth 5.0 for the compatibility being able to control it through your app. So let's open up the box, have a little look at what you get inside here. It does say compatible with cameras, flip cameras, phones, and laptops, whatever. I guess you could use it on PC and stuff as well. On camera shotgun mount for professional vlogging and filmmaking. So opening the box up here, uh, what you get inside as well is the Wavo Pro, a wind jammer Rycott, I'm guessing that's the tail bushy thing. A TRS to TRS cable, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and that I believe is everything. And then obviously you get your manual, which is gonna tell you about how to sort of set it up and how to know the best sort of equalizations for this microphone as well. Now the cool thing with this microphone, I'm just reading here, you've got a safe track, which allows you to have a right channel and left channel where the right channel would be 10 decibels quieter and the left channel would be obviously higher. So if you do lose audio in one part, you can take from another audio track. You click the same button, it will then turn it onto mono mode, which records both left and right at the same frequency. So it'd be like how we're sounding now. Then you have buttons on the left and right, which allow you to change for 10 decibels and 20 decibels extra. Say you're in a nice quiet studio, but someone talks a bit quiet, all you have to do is click the button to add 10 decibels of audio so it will pick up their voice a bit more crisper. You can also put mono mode on so you can just use the lav mic if you wanted to connect the lav mic to the shotgun instead of having just the shotgun on its own or you can have them as I said as two separate audio channels so whoever's using the lav mic and whoever's using the shotgun mounted mic would be on two different channels so you can make it sound like a podcast or whatever. That's pretty much everything I really needed to look through but now moving on to the actual device itself. Oh, it's a nice little coil cable actually. So similar to the Rode, uh, it is coiled in the middle so it keeps it nice and tucked away when you're obviously putting it in your camera bag you can just sort of plop it away like that. USB-C to USB-A is a very nice long cable so you don't have any issues if you need to plug it into your laptop, your phone, PC, whatever. So that's nice and it's thick so it's a good quality cable right there. Then this is the wind guard which looks like a little squirrel tail uh, which is good that they supply this because i've seen a lot of other companies out there that you have to actually buy these separately and they aren't cheap sometimes on most websites they're coming in around 40 pounds just for something like this so it's nice that they supply this with this kit now i guess because it is the price it is which we'll get into later that might be why they supply it in the first place but that's nice good quality thick like that's that's heavy duty that's stopping wind from coming in no matter what the microphone itself oh it's Quite light, actually. This is the microphone itself. It's kind of spaceshipy, doesn't it? This is the first sort of wind protector you can take off, but that's the microphone itself. Very nice and minute. 
and then that just slides back on there and makes it look fantastic. It does come with a hot shoe at the bottom here, or you can also attach it to a tripod or something with a screw mount. So this is the little device here. Obviously this is where you're talking to. I believe Casey, one of the biggest vloggers out there, uses this and he swears by it. So it's kind of insane to me that I have one in my hands knowing the guy that came from nothing to everything uses one of these. That for me is crazy. We will do a sound test as well, don't worry. Um, obviously I'm just using this microphone while I show this one off and then we'll switch over. On the side here it says anti-noise reduction. So it doesn't cancel noise out. It's not an anti-noise cancellation system. So it won't cut out certain things that it doesn't sort of pick up as a voice. It will just dull down like those different frequencies that it's not picking up from a front on angle. So if there's any car noises around the outside, it should dull that down. We've got a couple of fans going off in the back here because of the PC. So let's test that as well to see how well it does with controlling the background noise. I don't believe there's a button to turn on the anti-noise reduction. I think it's just part of this little device here. On one side here, you've got your little camera logo. That is to plug in the cable from this to the camera. And then on the other side, you have got an external, which is for a lav mic. So make sure when you are setting this up, you plug them into the right one. On the back here, you've got your three buttons. You've got your on button, your Bluetooth button, and then your mono or safe track button. That is pretty much it. That's all you need to see on that device right there. But before we plug it in, I'm gonna say the build quality is fantastic. The shock mount feels so good that when I'm shaking it, I'm literally getting no, no feeling like it's gonna snap. It feels very sturdy. Main body here is metal. Bottom plate here is made of plastic and then it's screwed on with a metal hot shoe. Uh, so I don't know how well that's gonna work. Obviously metal being into plastic, after a while that might start wearing out unless there was a metal insert in there for the screw. I don't know. So now what I'm gonna do is plug it in and do a couple of different sound tests. So we're gonna do one where it's just normal as it is, then we're gonna do one with a lav mic and one with the windshield on. So currently right now, what I'm using is a Full Aim X5 wireless microphone. And we're about to switch over to the Joby Wavo Pro. So now I switched over to the Joby. I did have to turn the audio up in camera because it wasn't picking it up as loud as the wireless mics were. So it's on the hot shoe. This is just its standard, no other audio sort of interface or no editing in post. This is the exact sound of what it sounds like. Let me know in the comments because I won't hear this until I get into editing. So let me know in the comments what you think. This is from obviously the wireless mic to this. Now what we're gonna try is put the windshield on and see if that does any difference to this microphone. There was one thing I wanna mention though with this. When you turn your camera off, if you leave this plugged in, uh, when you turn your camera off, it does actually turn off the microphone, which is a cool feature, because then you'll never really run out of battery when using it, because every time you turn your camera off, the microphone shuts off with your camera, and every time you turn your camera back on, it then restarts the microphone, which I think is such a unique and great feature to have when you have a microphone that needs to be powered. Now let's move on to the next sound test, add in the windshield, and see what that sounds like. And now we're using it with the windshield, which actually looks like a soundbar from the movies. So whether it's picking up my voice a lot clearer or crispier, I don't know, I have no idea. We're roughly at the same angle, same distance, talking the same sort of level of loudness, I guess. Let me know how it sounds. I think now it's time for the lav mic. So let's plug that in and see what that sounds like using the shotgun mountain mic. Okay, so now I'm using the lav mic and I've noticed on the camera it's picking up a different audio track for this and also the microphone over there. So now if I can actually switch that to mono. Okay, so now we'll switch the lav mic to mono. So it should just be picking up my voice only from this lav mic. So now we're gonna have to test out what the sound quality sounds like from using just the lav mic. Let me know in the comments, does this one sound better than all of the rest or which one do you think sounds better? the wireless microphone, the standalone Wavo Pro, the Wavo Pro with the windshield on, or the lav mic itself. Now, let's switch back to the normal mic. Okay, so now we're back to the normal shotgun mounted mic. It does still have the windshield on, um, just because I can't be bothered to take it off. Right, so the one thing I've noticed when using a lav mic on the Wavo Pro is when it's plugged in, it makes the lights flicker a little bit on the LED that shows that it's on. That's telling me that it doesn't have enough juice to withstand having two separate audio tracks within this little thing. I'd probably just keep it as a standard shotgun mounted mic. I wouldn't add an extra lav mic to it to have two audio tracks. If you want to do stuff like that, there's wireless mics out there for that. But for me, I mean, it's lightweight, it's well built, it's got a great sturdy shock mount, so you're not gonna get vibrations when moving. It's great for if you are vlogging, if you're doing shots like this, top down shots, because the microphone can be put on 
a microphone stand or a boom arm, whatever. Now it's whether it sounds good, that's down to you guys. Because obviously for me, I can edit it in post and make it sound better. But I'm going to leave this all exactly how it sounds coming directly from the microphone. I'm not going to edit no sound effects, no denoise, no suppressions. It's just going to be direct noise. So if it does sound terrible, I'm sorry. But now I think the last thing to really look at is the price of this thing. How much is this Wavo Pro coming in on the Joby website directly? It's coming in at £259.95. Almost £260 for a microphone on a camera. So does the price match the sound quality? That's down to you to let me know. If you have a preferred microphone that you'd rather use, also let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what mics are out there on the market that get the job done and also might be for a better price or even a bit more expensive. And if you have any questions about this microphone, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'm always here to help and comment back and just start a conversation to get to know my audience better and understand what they're looking for and try and give some feedback if needed. But other than that, I appreciate you all watching to the end. Leave a like, subscribe, hit notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. And remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video. There's also just a little tester of the audio. See what it's like when I'm moving around. See if it sounds the same, but yeah. I appreciate you all watching. See you next time.